What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. We're now about 115,000 strong and need you on board. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Brian Bayo, who had his electric 96 and 97 mile an hour two seamers working and also showcased his nasty changeup. He had five strikeouts and six scoreless innings. Another fun to watch electric young pitcher, Roancy Contreras, had five strikeouts and six innings, giving up only one run thanks to his sliders. Trevor Richards had these lethal changeups. Jacob Junis had five strikeouts and four and a third innings thanks to these sliders. Noah Syndergaard had three Ks and had this pretty curveball. Austin Voth had these sick curveballs. He's been pitching really well the last three months. You might want to consider him in your fantasy baseball leagues. Corey Kluber had four Ks in seven scoreless innings and had his dirty curveball in sinker. Corbin Burns had five Ks in five and two-thirds innings, but he did give up five earned runs, raising his ERA to over three now. That being said, he also had these dirty curveballs and changeup. Bryce Elder had six strikeouts and six scoreless innings, thanks to his sinker, slider, and nasty changeup. Edward Cabrera had these disgusting 92 and 93 mile an hour changeups and filthy breaking balls on his way to 7Ks in five innings, giving up only one run. His ERA this year, 2.39. Julio Rios gave up one run in six innings. He only had two Ks, but did have this sweeping curveball. His ERA this year is now 2.29. Max Scherzer gave up one run in five innings with five Ks. And of course, he had his usual dominant fastball and sliders, but also had this absolutely beautiful curveball. I keep saying it, but I think I like Max's curveball more than he does. He really doesn't throw it that much, and I think it's a weapon. I also love this story from Steve Gelbs talking about why Max Scherzer was drafted by the Diamondbacks. His stuff was really good, but they really liked the way he hated hitters. You can see that to this very day. But watching him on the mound, he said he had never seen a pitcher, an amateur pitcher, who hated hitters the way that Scherzer hated hitters. And he told his, his bosses at the time, I promise you, he will find a way to pitch every fifth day. It wasn't the stuff that convinced Rizzo to draft Scherzer. It was the makeup, that makeup that we still see and, and comment on this far into his career today. My most dominant pitcher from yesterday, that was Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease had seven strikeouts in a one-hit shutout. Unfortunately, that one hit came with two outs in the ninth inning. To right center field. Yep, he lost the no-hitter on the last out of the game. It's almost like a rise is his cat, and the rubber band was that no-hitter. Cease kept the Twins off balance with his array of sliders and knuckle curves. And with this outstanding outing, he made a huge move in the FanDuel AL Cy Young odds. He's now right behind Justin Verlander, and it may come down to the next couple of starts. Luis Garcia had these rock-the-baby curveballs. And he was matched up against Shohei Otani, who was absolutely outstanding last night. Otani had five strikeouts in eight innings and had this pretty curveball and this overpowering 90-mile-an-hour slider. You might remember a couple games ago when he took this 100 mile an hour sinker from Clay Holmes and made that face. I thought it might be saying, oh, not bad. But instead, I think it was Shohei filing that pitch away in his memory banks. Like, I need to add that pitch to my arsenal. Well, he did. Here is a 100 mile an hour sinker from Shohei Otani, and this thing had 21 inches of run. This man didn't even have a sinker a few weeks ago. In fact, here's Shohei a few months ago saying he doesn't know how to sink. Sink? <laughs> I don't have to sink. <laughs> and now he has an elite one. The other things I love about watching Shohei are, one, you can really watch his face and see how he reads swings. Like here, he knew from Vasquez's swing that he was trying to go the opposite way. And sure enough, he was. And honestly, just watching Shohei take signs is performance art. This is hilarious. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Pete Fairbanks had this overpowering stuff. 
we had player name make an appearance. Camilo Duvall had this heat. Craig Kimbrell had these dirty knuckle curves. Devin Williams had this airbender that ran 21 inches. Jose Alvarado had these turbo sinkers. But my filthiest pitch from a reliever yesterday were these Jimmy Hergett breaking balls. Look at this last one. It looks like it has air brakes and a parachute stopping in midair. Amazing stuff from the human glitch. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. What's more zen than two dudes sitting on the grass contemplating life? What is up, Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are two-leg parlay. I'm going to go with George Kirby for 6Ks or more, and I'm going to take Zach Gallon for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 